Welcome back to Logic 101, I'm William Spaniel, and this lecture is on hypothetical syllogism. Hypothetical syllogism has two premises. P implies Q, and Q implies R. So we have two implications there. P implies Q, and Q implies R. And if we have those two things, we can conclude this third thing, P implies R. So essentially, we're taking the first element and the third element, we're removing the middleman, and we're putting together a new implication that has the first and the third. This is similar, in my mind, to the transitive property of inequalities in mathematics, where A is greater than B, B is greater than C, and so you can remove B as the middleman and say that just A is greater than C. Similar story here, you can remove the middleman in Q and get a new implication with just the first and the last. This makes sense if you think about it. So here's an example. We can make the first premise, if I am in Buffalo, then I am in New York. We can make the second premise, if I am in New York, then I am in the United States. And therefore, you should be concluding to yourself that if you are in Buffalo, you are also in the United States. And we can verify that this is true using a truth table. So here I've already filled it out. We have three simple sentences in the first three columns, P, Q, and R, and we have all combinations of truth values for those three simple sentences. And I've also constructed the implications of the two premises and the conclusion. And we have the truth values there already. So remember that column four and column five are our premises. If we look at where column four is true, well, it's in the top two rows and the bottom four rows. That is where P is true and Q is true, or P is not true, P is false, and it doesn't matter what Q is in that case. Same thing over there on the fifth column, Q implies R. We have that being true wherever Q is true and R is true, or whenever Q is false, regardless about what happens with R in that case. And now what we're curious about is in those four rows where both P implies Q and Q implies R are true, that would be row one, row five, row seven, and row eight, is it also true that P implies R is true? And as we will see, Right now, yes, that is the case. P implies R is true in those four instances, and that's why if we know that P implies Q and Q implies R are both true, it must also be true that P implies R. So that's hypothetical syllogism for you. It allows us to derive a new implication by removing the middleman of two different implications. Hope you enjoyed this. Hope to see you next time. Take care.